Rumors are that allegedly Mia is in big trouble with the network. What's going on? What did she do? I have some new information that may answer all of those questions and more right after this. What's up, Kim folk, and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, do me a favor and subscribe. And if you already are subscribed, do me a favor and get notified so you'll know whenever I upload new videos to the channel. All right, Kim folk, come on into the house. We have a lot to talk about, and it centers around rumors that allegedly Mia may be in big trouble with the network. What's going on? I have some new information that may answer that question and more. And here it goes. Rumors are that allegedly network executives aren't pleased with Mia's new Real Housewives of Potomac storyline. The source said, allegedly executives are filming that such a storyline is being explored for next season. Mia's story goes against the network's new rebrand and erases a lot of the hard work the network has done to present a more aspirational look for the housewife universe, said the source. Someone in production really dropped the ball. This storyline is good, but doesn't fit the franchise, said the source. And this is probably the reason why the storyline was introduced at the end of the season. The source continued, if Mia's story isn't approved for next season, then she will be in big trouble trying to create a new one. Everything and everyone is counting on Mia to deliver high ratings next season. And that's only possible if she can keep her current storyline. Allegedly, the network executives see Mia's story as too unrelatable for the Real Housewives of Potomac audience and stop short of calling it a love and hip hop story. Behind the scenes, certain cast members think that aesthetically Mia fits the housewife box, but personally she does not. Allegedly, some cast members have cautioned Mia about her storyline and have even gone to production to get her to change it. Will it work? The source said, we'll just have to wait and see. With filming starting soon, who knows? Now, Kim folk, that is um a rumor that came across my desk over the weekend regarding mia and her current storyline with real housewives of potomac and let me tell you something right now i have been hearing this for the past two weeks and um i can see this as being very factual because of this reason mia's storyline and the guy who she is currently seeing uh ink um it is just too um too hood. <laughs> it is definitely real uh, life love and hip hop storyline. A lot of people have been saying this on Twitter, on social media, in the comments section, on housewife related fan pages, on Facebook, that that storyline is good. But when you add in her new love interest, it takes a love and hip hop type of turn. When it is her and Gordon talking about their issues in their marriage, it's that is relatable. Even though the, the conversation, the topic is a little taboo, seeing both of them talk about this is very good TV. However, when you introduce Mia's new boyfriend, and then it kind of takes like a more of a love and hip hop turn. So I can see why our production, well, at least executives may not feel like that is a good look. Again, as we said this time and time again, producers on Real Housewives of Atlanta is my source, I mean, Real Housewives of Potomac and somewhat of Atlanta. My sources are saying that they're just our lazy producers. And they may actually allow Mia just to run wild with the storyline. But my sources really feel like if that's the case, uh, the executives in the network probably will step in and tap production on the hand and tell them they have to reel in this storyline a lot. Because as my sources are saying, it just simply goes against all the hard work that the network has done to rebrand its image when it comes to the housewife universe. Now, Kim, folk, the next part of this rumor, um, I can see is absolutely being true about two housewives allegedly going to production to try to get Mia to change her storyline. Now, if you are to believe that part of the rumor, like I believe it, I can see these two housewives being the uh, the culprits. 
Right off the bat, Karen and Giselle. <laughs> you know, if anyone went to production, it probably was Karen and Giselle. And I'm going to tell you what their complaints probably were. First off, Karen is probably like, that is just not what we want this show to give. You know, the show started off as this etiquette, proper lifestyle type of show of Jack and Jill, uh, mothers getting together, and then allegedly it was a cease and desist order, and they had to not use the Jack and Jill name or the image or something to that effect. And they changed to Real Housewives of Potomac, and they were talking about, okay, we're going to make it about proper etiquette or whatnot. So with Karen leading that uh, that narrative, I definitely do feel like she's probably pushing Mia to stay away from that storyline to a certain extent because it is just a little bit too uh, just a little bit too hood, and that's not Karen's image. That's not the image that Karen wants to portray, and that's not the image that she wants the uh, the uh, the franchise franchise to portray because I think Karen has really made this uh, franchise of Real Housewives of Potomac. A part of who she is as a person so if the show reads ghetto i think she's fearful that people outside the show mainly her friend groups in the community may associate her with being ghetto as well and i hate to call it ghetto but i mean that storyline and you it's a lot now giselle on the other hand if you are to believe that giselle went to production to complain to try to get me a change to change her storyline i could see this as being the reason Mia's new storyline just simply overshadows Giselle. It just does. It knocked Giselle out of the first chair. And I think Giselle feels like if Mia is allowed to explore this storyline, then there's not going to be a need for Giselle to be highlighted next season. It's just not. And it's not. And there's nothing that Giselle can really do to exploit this storyline for her own benefit because Mia is just such an open book. So I can see why Giselle would want production to make Mia change her storyline to something that Giselle could like exploit or infiltrate. But right now, it doesn't seem like it's going to be the case. This storyline is really good, like my sources are saying. I mean, it's good. And my sources are also saying there are some more facets to this storyline that we are not privy to that may come out next season if uh, Mia keeps this story the way it is. So with that being said, it's like Giselle really has nowhere to turn. And, and Mia may continue to knock Giselle out of that first uh, chair slot for probably the next two seasons and with this Real Housewives of uh, Potomac trajectory we don't even think they may have another two seasons after them the way it's going so Mia could very effectively uh, have knocked uh, Giselle out of the top spot for the duration of the length of time that the show is on air so I can see why Giselle may be the other person who wants to get Mia's storyline changed only for her benefit not because she feels like it's a bad look for the show now, Kim folk, um, the last part of this rumor, um, I can definitely see um as being factual. And it goes back to the original topic of the whole storyline being too uh urban for the network. And it's this. Bravo has a lot going on right now. I mean, it's a lawsuit each and every day about the way the ladies of the Housewife franchise have been allegedly treated and things of that nature. And we're trying to see claims of colorism being cleaned up or swept under the rug. And it just seems like Bravo probably does not want another um, you know, hit on their chin uh, when it comes to another Housewife franchise. And that's something that this particular storyline that Mia has can cause. Because I can see the think pieces and I can see the arguments and people talking like, why do they feel so comfortable um, exploring this dysfunctional, quote unquote, hood storyline for the rest of the, uh, all the viewers and millions of people to see? Why do they feel so comfortable with showcasing a black woman with a, quote unquote, um, um, urban boyfriend who she's cheating on her husband with it is just a lot right and i can see why productive why the network would want to steer clear away from all of that because it feeds back into this narrative that you're not protecting black women although this is Mia's truth and this is her storyline and a good storyline i can just see the potomac audience not liking the portrayal of a black woman it's one thing for you and your husband to get a divorce and things of that nature but the way she's getting divorced the way this relationship has unraveled and it's just the optics of it right um it really does not fit the real housewives of potomac brand it doesn't even fit any housewife brand or franchise let alone bravos so i can see why they probably would want her to um change this narrative in just the best interest for everyone at the network and everyone at real housewives of potomac 
and how it benefits them in the long run by keeping some level of class uh, in the franchise. But Kim Folk, I wanna know what you guys think. And you ought to believe this room that Mia's in big trouble because of this quote unquote, <laughs> I keep saying hood, but I mean, it's just, it's just what it is. If, if you are to believe this room that the network is uh, unhappy with Mia's quote unquote, um, very interesting storyline and they may call her to change it. Do you think her changing it would be a good thing for next season or do you think it'll be a bad thing for next season? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. All right, Kim Folk, as always, if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys over on the next one. Peace.